Ferris wheel Up high the world never looks so real Isn't that right? Because one night could last a thousand years Roller coasters that go face our fears And forget them by the morning light Let's go to Lemon Park! Be with all our friends and home will never end I wanna go to Lemon Park! And such great company Why, hello there! Welcome to my humble abode! It's so lovely to have guests! I assume you're here to learn a bit about the world I inhabit? Splendid! Today I will teach you about some of the wonderful monster species in our world. And I have a few guests who will help me teach you. So sit tight, grab a snack, and let Mother Goose tell you about the magic of our monstrous world. Our lesson begins today with werewolves. These monsters have the features of both man and wolf, with some standout features being their sharp teeth, black nose, wolf tail, and paws outfitted with opposable thumbs. Contrary to popular belief, werewolves stay as they are at all times. The full moon has no effect on them whatsoever. Our next species for today will be vampires. Vampires are often characterized by their grey skin, pointy teeth, and dark circles. While they will not die if they come in contact with the sun, they are much more prone to sunburn. An hour in the sun can make any vampire turn as red as a tomato. This is why you'll often see them wearing longer clothing, even in the middle of the summer. Vampires also don't crave blood. But they do tend to need more iron in their diets than the average human or monster. Now we move on to Selkies. These monsters are a peculiar breed as they are able to transform into seals. Classic legends say these creatures transform once they put on their seal skin. But the Selkies of this world need an extra step. Just add water. Anytime a Selkie is wearing their seal skin and they get almost completely soaked, they will transform into a seal and cannot turn back until they dry off. Selkies wear their skin often, as their human skin exposed can be uncomfortable. This can make pool parties very hard to deal with. Next, we have lake monsters. These individuals are characterized by their scaly skin, face fins, and pointed teeth. While they often prefer living in or near aquatic environments, lake monsters and their seafaring counterparts can live on land if they keep their skin moisturized with water. Lake monsters tend to fare better though, as it is easy for them to access fresh water. This can make pool parties infinitely easier to deal with. The next species we will discuss is sphinxes. Sphinxes are similar to werewolves in that they have the combined features of a human and a lion. Some notable features are their sharp teeth, black nose, lion's tail, and paws. One aspect that makes Sphinx unique is their wings. Monsters of this kind have fledgling wings for their whole life, allowing them to travel a few feet off the ground but not take complete flight. Sphinxes are also known for their riddle-making abilities, though not all Sphinxes are gifted with their words. Now let us discuss basilisks. These mighty beasts are part dragon, part chicken, and part man, with such features as a beak nose, dragon claws, dragon tail, and small wings that allow for limited flight. All members of the species have the ability to breathe fire, though it only comes out in small sparks. <laughs> some basilisks use that to their advantage. Basilisks, along with their cockatrice cousins, must wear protective eyewear at all times when around others. This prevents them from turning their fellow friends into stone. Next, I will teach you about satyrs. Satyrs can come in numerous varieties, being a mix of any hoofed creature and a human. Talia is one of the most common types, being half goat and half human. Some prominent features include goat eyes, goat ears, hooves, and a tail. Satyrs tend to be of a stronger build and have a talent for the arts. Talia's artistic skill translates to her guitar abilities. What 
What lovely playing! Our final species to discuss is fairies. Fairies have much variety, coming in many shapes, colors, and sizes. No matter how they appear, fairies share a few things in common. Their bug-like wings and pointed teeth. These wings are very special, as they are much stronger than they appear to be. One pair of wings can take two people off of the ground. This makes our friend Pierce, the only one of his friends, able to fly any further than a few feet off of the ground. Now wasn't that fun? Thank you all for listening. I hope you learned something today. Have a great day, and remember to watch episode 2 of Lemon Park when it premieres later this year. Uh, oops! <laughs> Pardon me. I'm such a silly goose.